This is DC Denton Crow Crusader. It's Friday the 13th. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, Georg Schmidt sitting over there in his van. I don't know why. Or he's on the other side. There's his feet. I see his feet. He's on the other side. He just opened his uh, truck. He wasn't there a minute ago, but he's there now. Um, yeah. Let's, uh, all you people are superstitious out there. <laughs> yeah, uh, be careful, uh, cat, cross your path, and don't walk under ladders. And one of my mother's favorites, don't put your shoes on the table higher, higher than you, okay? That's an old German one. That'll bring you bad luck. So, anyway. See if our camera's going. Wow, is it cold. It's six degrees Celsius out here. I mean, that's really cold for September. There he goes. There he is. There he is looking at me. And I got him on video. That's what he looks like. Okay. That's what he looks like. Now he just locked up his van. That's the infamous Georg Schmidt. Purposely got out wanted to be in my video, that's how I construe it, and look this way. Except something no good. Now for any of people who keep criticizing me about this person, we have to understand how many birds. I watched him take a, a plastic yellow bag and fill it up with dead birds off the rooftop of the shopping center. And why does he do the poisoning there? Because he knows he can get away with it. I can't get up there. I would need a drone. I mean, he just gets away with it. And the district attorney says I have to have him actually on video. Well, how am I going to do that? How am I going to do that, right? I'd have to be on the rooftop myself and that would be trespassing and I wouldn't even know how to get up there. So stop with the silly comments about this man. He killed my Charlie, he killed my pet crow. I had for nine years along with Charlie's little flock and other birds. Many, 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 many birds. Hundreds, maybe thousands throughout the years. Okay, because he's been here a long time. And he's, there was a bird poisoning set up in the garage. We shut, shut that down, that was meant for pigeons. It was a, a concrete uh, sort of bowl set up with hay around it and poison feed. We shut that down. So you people need to stop. You don't believe what has been going on here. It's all documented. And as soon as we brought that to the attention of the uh, people of the shopping center and Migros, they shut it down. They shut it down. I sent it to the newspapers, everything. And of course nobody would print it. Who's going to go against Migros? One of the largest... Uh, shopping centers in Switzerland. Who's gonna do that? Nobody's gonna do that. Here's our little birdies. We made popcorn last night. There's no salt on it though. I left a half a pot for the birds. I think they, they would enjoy that. We have one real girl, of course Seymour and friends, and our little crows. And lots of pigeons here today. An extraordinary amount of pigeons today. 
but it could, there's two uh, two flocks there held in captivity, and it could be that uh, that they were released at the same time. If they had I known it would be so cold, I would. Uh, I would have added uh, a little more grain, definitely. Bird's a little nervous. They know Georg Schmidt's here, right? They act differently when he's here. Because, you know, he shot at birds. I couldn't prove it that he sh I saw him shooting at birds on the roof here, on the terrace about four years ago. But by the time I called the police, he had already, he was already gone and there was no way of proving it. I didn't have my uh, cell phone with me. Didn't take a picture of it. As soon as he saw me, he left anyway. But yeah, but I found, uh, what was it? Six months ago, uh, a dying, uh, dying crow in the uh, parking lot here, in the underground parking lot with a, a bullet um, air rifle through its head. So, what's up? I gotta clean the window. Oh. <laughs> oh, we got a little birdie dew on the window. Oh, who cares? Okay, this is DC Danton Crow Crusader. I'm going to uh, exit now. I've got some work lined up this afternoon with a friend. Uh, so I've got to get going. I want to wish you a great Friday wherever you are and uh, the start of a good weekend. Hope it's a little bit warmer where you are. Um, love your birds, stay safe, do what you can, fight the good fight for our wildlife and our little feathered friends yeah and uh, want to make a comment about the uh, destruction of habitat due to I talked about this a while back and there was a comment about what plant production does yes certain kinds of plant production palm oil burning down the rainforest for grazing land and planting uh, uh, palm trees and on and on and on okay yes and the pesticides and the fertilizers yes absolutely we need to go about uh, agriculture in a whole different way uh-oh uh-oh something happened here something happened they saw something or i'm not sure what happened here but something happened Something happened and the birdies got all upset. Look at them. And they're all flying away. Definitely something here went wrong. But I don't know what. Someone or something they saw. Anyway, well the hawk's here. I'm not sure that would do it. Not on a cold day like today. They would still be down there eating. Anyway, uh, yeah, I just want to address that very shortly. That is all true, but it, it's not on the scale since agriculture makes up for only 3% of the usage of land on this planet. And the rest of it is uh, all used for, um, for uh, feed for livestock. So that 3% is in no comparison to the amount of a land that is being used in a negative way uh, for uh, livestock, for feeding livestock. And yes, that is true. But we have organic farming, and that is one of the uh, fastest growing trends, is uh, organic farming. And uh, what we need to do is take that grazing land as cultured meat comes onto the market. Uh, we don't need that land uh, for growing food for livestock anymore. Um, that can be planted with nut trees and, and all kinds of beans and this and that uh, to support the, uh, 
to support uh, uh, feeding uh, the world's population where we can't feed them with meat okay we cannot do that uh, that's already uh, destroying the planet so cultured meat yes we will have cultured meat but still uh, regardless that it doesn't destroy the environment it still destroys the health so you have to look at it as a way that uh, veganism and vegetarianism is one way of feeding the planet in a healthy way but yes you're absolutely correct and we need to reduce if not eliminate pesticides and fertilizers and we probably can be on that track by uh, that's that is the main reason that we uh, do not have insects anymore are the pesticides and fertilizers that is what's killed off the insects but we have to remember most of that land where they're spreading fertilizer and pesticides is land um, delegated to growing food for livestock so we have to remember that and yes uh, plant production does obviously there look at all your fruits and vegetables right like 90 percent of them are sprayed um, of course that destroys the insects goes into the groundwater gives you cancer so yes this is true i just want to say that was a very good observation and it is absolutely true and uh, but it is not it is not the largest factor the fact